Hello and welcome to my deck and <laughs> an outdoor video doing my makeup for National Cherry Cheesecake Day. Okay, Chelsea chooses the days. I have nothing to do with this. Anyway, I got my red beret on. I got my red um, devil horn hoodie on. There we go. That's better. I'm feeling that more for Cherry Cheesecake Day. Um, what am I supposed to do for Cherry Cheesecake Day? I don't know. Chelsea was like, yeah, I'm doing my makeup, and I was like, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. And she said, okay, well, I'm just going to do something and draw a cherry or some cheesecake or something on my face. Well, anyway, we're going to not even worry about the cheesecake thing. But today I do have the Cherry Crush Color Pop Palette. And, you know, I love red. I love red. One of my all-time top favorite colors. Uh, red was kind of my signature color for a while until it turned into purple. I used to have this very cool studio and recording area and office in my house. And then I decided I was going to turn it back into a guest room. So now, look, this is what the people say they want. You want real. You want natural light. No ring lights. No studio lights. I am outside on my deck. It is a little bit chilly. <laughs> Not going to lie. It's a little chilly. And the sun is out. It was supposed to be more sunny today, and then it changed. Now it's kind of cloudy. So let's just uh, play with some of my makeup and see what happens. So I have, let's see, I have my Razor Lashes, and these are my favorites. These are the Karma Lashes, and they actually are black with, like, red on, like, the underside. So I am going to pop these on, too, when we're done with the look. I just kind of grabbed a little bit of everything here, and I already put on my foundation. I'm wearing the Le Beige Eau de Tint Water Fresh Tint by Chanel, which is why I don't look like I have tons of makeup caked on my face, hopefully. This is a water fresh tint with micro droplet pigments, bare skin effect, natural and luminous healthy glow brush applicator. I could not find my brush because I packed up all my makeup out of my studio. So I use this La Russe brush right here to put it on, which is fine. This is about as similar as I could find to the one that came with it. I used my Unearthly Cosmetics big fluffy brush and the Surrender Glowing Blush Palette on my cheeks. I used this shade Luscious and then I topped with a little bit of Romantic. Took Romantic and just went across my nose a little bit. And I did the Kosas. This is the Dual Action Defining Pencil Crayon Definition Double Action Brow Pop. And this is shade black. This is turning into my absolute favorite brow pencil, this Kosas Brow Pencil. <gasps> if you want to do your big spooky black brow, this thing is awesome. Love it. So I did that. That's all I did. Nothing fancy. Oh, my lips. Doi, you're like, hello, lips. So this is the Hank and Henry Los Angeles Satin Matte Lipstick L.O.V.E. Watch this. Wait. Boink. And it's all sparkly on the side. It's really pretty. I love the sparkles on the side. It just, I hope we're, are we focusing? I hope we're focusing. There we go. And this is what I'm wearing on my lip. And this is such a pretty, like, true red. So I got this a while ago. And I've had it for a while. Um, I haven't worn it a lot. I haven't been wearing a lot of red lipstick. But now that with the long blonde hair, I'm kind of, like, feeling it again. So I pulled out this Makeup a Murder Lovesick palette. This is Water Activated Split Liner. This is the Love Bandit Lovesick one. And this is a good 24 months, which is good because it takes you forever to get through these. And I have used the crap out of the couple on this side. But I'm thinking about maybe using this water activated liner for this look. And again, the Cherry Crush palette. So try and kind of decide what I'm going to do. I think oh God, this is one of those times I wish ColourPop had a mirror because I'm sitting outside. So I'm going to have to kind of hold my mirror like this and we'll see what happens. So let's just do a little uh, chit chat out here and throw on some makeup. And I need to, I am not quite used to getting this on my face. I'm looking very French, aren't I? With the long blonde hair. Um, so this is for National Cherry Cheesecake Day for the Unicorn Glam Squad, which is my online YouTube friend Chelsea's group, Unicorn Glam Squad. And you can look that up. And we, you know, she kind of does a, uh, Every Wednesday is her videos for it. I'm going to start with Black Cherry. 
Oh my god, I'm scared because this color pop. Look at Can we see the fall? Wait. <laughs> oh my god. I hope this doesn't go all over my face. I feel like it what? I'm gonna pre I'm just gonna pat it on. So obviously this is going to be a red eyeshadow look. At first I was like, I don't know what I want to do. Like, are you kidding me? Cherry cheesecake day, what am I supposed to do? But then I thought, you know, this is a really good opportunity to do a red eyeshadow look and a red lip and just go all crazy with it. So it's going to be kind of fun. And I haven't used ColourPop in a while. And this is one of my older ColourPop palettes. I already love this. But with the long blonde hair now, I'm, I can kind of have fun with different stuff with my makeup. So what's been going on with everybody? You good? You good? You good? Did you miss the makeup? I've been doing a few unboxings. I have a lot of vlogs coming up because I've been farm sitting this week. So I'm going to have some farm sitting vlogs. So if you're one of my people who likes watching my vlogs, you're going to get those. Okay. Nice. That's going to be pretty simple. Honestly, I'm not going, I know I always say that and then it ends up not simple. Honestly, it's really simple. I did not bring that much stuff out here with me. It's kind of forcing me to be like limited with this. Ah, let's use this brush. This is, I just grabbed different brushes. Shadow LR110. I, oh, this is another LaRousse too. I grabbed all these LaRousses. What are we going to put on my lids? How about very cherry? Let's do very cherry since this is the cherry cheesecake thingy. It's the one right in the middle. It is the reddest red. If you like a red palette, this is the red palette for you. Okay, it's not that sparkly. So I got a comment from Elder Goth Jane on my Beauty Bay Smoky 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 palette that she looks at, but then she's like, Ooh, it's it's too much sparkles. It's too, it's too many sparkly shades. And I'm like, ooh, I love the sparkles. I like the sparkly stuff. So to me, that's not a bad thing. But now she's got me thinking of putting together a palette. Like pulling out my, um, my little magnetic depotting tool and putting together a palette. Like a goth palette of all mattes. And that's so strange for me because, you know, I when somebody who does friend chooses my makeup and picks all matte shades, it kind of freaks me out. And I'm like, what are you doing to me? What am I supposed to do with this? It kind of freaks me out. I don't like to do all matte shades. I like to have some sparkle. I mean, Jane does sparkle too. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I didn't even think about that when she said that, like, about the, uh, the sparkly in, in the... Now I want to go back and look at that palette. So... This is all I've done so far. I'm going to take Juicy Juicy, which is another kind of shimmery. So far, I'm liking this formula, though. ColourPop does not suck, you guys. I just want a little deeper, a little brighter in here. I'm getting fallout all over. I'm trying to be careful. This is not as dark of a shade as I thought it was going to be. I wanted to put a little bit darker in here. Not that dark. That's all right. Like I said, this is going to be, this is going to be more, I think, about the eyeliner and less about the eyeshadow. This look. So, interestingly, there's no kind of like highlighter, lighter shade to put around my brow. But maybe I'm just going to ignore it and not do that. <laughs> my allergies are going crazy out here. Uh oh. I do not have another, I only brought out like three eyeshadow brushes. So you know what? I'm wearing crappy pants that, I, oh, here we go. As I wa wipe this all over my pants, I did bring tissues out. I'm going to take some of Sweet Like, which is, I think it's like the lightest, like most shimmery one up at this corner. I'm going to put that a little bit of it right up here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I don't hate that. Let's do that. Bring it down there a little bit. So my cherry cheesecake, National Cherry Cheesecake Day look is more about the cherry and less about the cheesecake. And that's fine. 
it's an interpretation, right? Okay, so if you have hazel eyes, red will make them pop like crazy. I love, I love my eye color when I'm wearing red eyeshadow. I really do. For right now, this is all I'm doing with the eyeshadow. Ta-da! When have you ever seen me do this little with eyeshadow? But I have a few different, like I said, a couple different um, eyeliner products. So I do have this, and I also have my Chaotic Cosmetics. Look, it's got a little stamp. Oh, it, we have a little stamp. Hold on. I have a little heart stamp on my cheek now because why not? All right, if you don't look closely, you're going to be like, did you break out? No, it's a heart. Oh my God, I brought that down way farther than I wanted and I just smudged it. I'm not editing this, so I'm leaving all my mistakes in and I don't care. I'm just, I want to bring this down a little bit more. There we go. That's what I wanted in the middle. So it just kind of comes down a little bit. Now it's getting, like the sun's out and now it's getting windy. Okay, be careful when you're doing red makeup because if you touch anything and then touch another part of your face, obviously it's going to transfer all over the freaking place. So I think we're going to do a true, true, true red makeup look. I don't know. I think I'm going to use this eyeliner because I really like it. I was going to use the Makeup and Murder one, but... I'm going to use this one on the bottom. This is the Chaotic. Um, I don't know the name of it. It's just red. It's the red Chaotic liquid liner that has uh, the heart stamp. I love Chaotic Cosmetics. It's an indie brand. It is run by AJ in uh, Lake Long Island, New York area. Who I really hope to meet AJ this summer. I have to go to some event or something that AJ is doing because I really need to meet AJ. And I need to meet Ashley Jade. And if you know, you know. Okay, so there is that. And then I'm going to do come down here and do this side. For me, this is going to be a very quick video and a very quick look, which is not the worst thing. So tomorrow I have a uh, friend chooses my makeup, and it is another Chelsea collab because Chelsea. Sorry about my sniffles, guys. The wind's blowing, and it's allergy season. Don't know what to tell you. You want real? You want unedited? You want natural lighting? I'm going to sit outside on my deck with pollen and crap blowing around and I'm gonna be all sneezy. Uh, but Chelsea did my, chose my palette and my shades for tomorrow. Oh man, I did that right, my waterline. I did not mean to do that. For friend chooses my eye uh, look and she, sorry, I have to hold it. I'm sorry if I'm blocking you, you can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. I want to get like a really big crazy. I love the way my eyes look with red eye makeup. I have an idea. Okay. So since we have to do a cherry thing. Okay, so I'm doing this heart. I'm tracing over this heart a little bit more. To darken it. And, um... I don't have green. Shoot, I don't have anything green. Maybe I can use, do I? Don't I? No. I'm trying to think what I can use for, to do like a little stem. Oh look, I did have another brush. <laughs> uh, slick water, this is the white, this is pink, this is black. <gasps> I have a black. Sorry, I'm not talking. I have to focus. Okay, so I put a little stem on the heart, so it looks like it's a little cherry, but it's a heart. Cute. And I'm also going to do a little highlight with this. Um, what was I saying? I need, you know what I need? I need a good waterline. I really would like to do a black waterline. I did not bring a black waterline pencil out, did I? I don't think I did. Um, mm. Or do I want to do this? You know what? Let's take this VE liner. This 
the VE is going to be my line over the top. Sorry, not talking again, must focus. One thing I'll tell you, when you're doing your makeup outside and the wind is blowing, uh, I have to keep my eye open to do my liner, but the wind is blowing. And it is not exactly the most comfortable thing to do because the wind's blowing air right into my eye and it's not like I can blink and let the wind not blow in my eye. So this is a challenge. If it wasn't windy, it wouldn't be so bad. You can see my hair blowing around. It's getting very windy out here. What I do for you guys. That being said, please like and subscribe if you're not already. Because I swear, some days like this I feel like I'm really suffering for my art here. Give a sister a little uh, thumbs up and a, a like and a subscribe. And um, while you're at it, comment for engagement. Comment anything. Uh, comment if you like cherry cheesecake or not. Or comment if you like cherries or not. That's even another one because, like, the cherry cheesecake thing, you know, uh, okay, it's National Cherry Cheesecake Day, whatever, but... Okay, I'm kind of liking this, but it's going to look really... Let's see how it looks with my glasses, because that's always my... Okay, I like it. Uh, but I still need a waterline. Do I want to do red my waterline like a weirdo? I think I do. Let's make it, like, ridiculously red. <laughs> Plus, this is the cream gel liner, the, and it's actually called Cherry Pie, the, uh, the color pop one. I wanted to do black, but you know what? We're doing red, 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 red. Let's do the reddest red. Red, red, red. Waterline and all. What's going to break this up a little bit on my eyes is the mascara. Let me check my timer because my camera might shut off. Uh, no, we still have plenty of time, but this is coming along really well. I really like it so far. It's cute. It's crazy. I do need to use some of this, but I think. First, I think I'm going to pause for one moment. Let's pause for station identification. This is Nightmare Bliss. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to put my lashes on, and then we're going to finish this look up. I will be right back. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I did like a really crazy close-up. Um, here is the look with my lashes and all. I am just going to take a little bit of this. I want a little bit of this white. I'm hoping nothing is on my brush. I want to do a little, just a little bit of highlight on my little cherry here, cherry on top. So I was thinking about doing something with a liquid liner, but I like the liner too much that I just did with the Chaotic and the VE on top. So again, that's the Chaotic Cosmetics, the red on the bottom, and then I use the, um, on the top is the VE Cosmetics liquid eyeliners. And I'm just going to highlight... my little cherry heart here a little bit. The The thing about using these cake liners is you just have to get the consistency just right. I usually use it on my hand like this because if it's too wet, you'll see if, if it's too wet, it's kind of runny and you don't want it too dry and cakey either. So you gotta get this like sweet spot in the middle where it's just nice and thick. And I wanna do like a little, there we go. I just did a really tiny little highlight on this. Um, I think, you guys, this is all I'm going to do. I think I'm calling it done. So here is my look. I can actually get my hair back down here. I had to keep it out of my face. So um, here it is. Finished look for National Cherry Cheesecake Day. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is red, red, red on top of red and red, and I love it. And especially, okay, if you're blonde, if you have hazel eyes, or if you have black hair and green eyes or blue eyes, the blue is a little bit weirder. Blue with red it looks a little weird, but I absolutely love this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I just realized my eyelashes are getting a little bit stuck to my glasses. 
These are insanely long and normally, I've talked about this in the past, but the way I keep them from hitting my glasses are I hold them up like this. And guess what? I did not do that this time and it did make a difference. But there we go. I am done. I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun creating this look. It was really fun. I haven't done an all red look in a while. So here it is with my little devil horns. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget again, like and subscribe. Yada, yada, yada. It's chilly out here. So I'm going to get inside. I will see you very soon. I have lots of vlogs coming up and tomorrow friend chooses my makeup. Chelsea chose a lethal palette for me from Lethal Cosmetics, so you don't want to miss it. She said it gave her mermaid vibes, so I'm already thinking, how do I make this spooky mermaid? Uh, let me know what you think of the hair, but I absolutely love it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, not a wig. This is, this is very much attached to my hair. This is extensions. I will see you in the next one. Bye.